Hello everyone. Let's get started with the third lesson, which is a continuation of nouns. So one of the most important aspects of noun is gender. Whenever we use the nouns in a sentence, we have to be sure about the noun form, whether it is the masculine form or the feminine form. So for some of the words, the feminine form is an entirely different word. So if you do not know this word, probably you will not be able to make any guesses too. So the feminine form of the word, for example, bachelor is maid or uh, spinster. For boy, it is girl. For cock, it is hen. For brother, it is sister. For dog, it is bitch. For drone, it is bee. For gentleman, it is lady. For husband, it is wife. For man, it is woman. For wizard, it is witch. You can go through this list and, and make sure you do not make these mistakes. Do not ignore these thinking that they are not important. If in a sentence you need the a feminine form and you write by, mist by mistake the masculine form then the meaning of the whole sentence would change so it is so it is not you know such a small thing that you can ignore you you have to be careful that you write the correct noun form so there are few more examples these words are much easier than the previous ones where you had to create a new word and if you didn't do know it you couldn't do anything about it in these words, you can add a syllable and create the feminine form. Like author, it's authoress. Giant is giantess. Host is hostess. Lion is lioness. Peer is peeress. Poet is poetess. Priest is priestess, etc. Let's take a couple of more examples. Hero, heroine. Sultan, sultana. Fox, vixen. So now let's try to create the, the feminine form for the words which are, you know, compound nouns like grandfather. So what are compound nouns? The words which are made by combine, combining two words, grandfather, grandmother, great uncle, great aunt, milkman, milkwoman, washerman, washerwoman, etc. You can go through these words and practice. Okay, now let's talk about plural nouns. So in our previous lesson on nouns, we had gone through the countable nouns which have a plural form. So most of these countable nouns can be changed into plural form by just adding an S like boy, boys, pen, pens, girl, girls. But you have to ensure that uh, you are 100% sure because there are few words where just by adding an S won't help. You may make a spelling mistake like baby. You will have to replace Y with IES. Lady will have to be changed to ladies. Class will have to be changed to classes. In case of words like thief, wife or wolf, you will have to change F to V and you'll have to add few letters to change thief to thieves, wife to wives. These are the common errors that you know, that students make in their spellings when they're writing the plural form. So you should be careful. You should not make those spelling errors. You can go through these list and maybe learn their, you know, plural forms. Okay, so in case of, you know, a few other words like man and foot, you will have to change a letter to create the plural form of that word. For man, it's men. For woman, it's women. For tooth, it's teeth. For mouse, it's mice. For goose, it's geese. There are a few nouns that form their plural by adding en to the singular like ox, oxen, child, children, etc. There are other words like sheep and deer and you know aircraft, salmon, where the singular and plural remains the same. You need not you know, get worried about what their plural form is because it does not change. Okay, now one of the areas where many students make errors is subject verb. So, for example, we think that every word with an S is a plural verb and every word without an S is a singular verb. 
but there are exceptions to that for example pair and dozen score or hundred it does not have an s so that does not mean that it is a singular word it is a plural word in meaning similarly mathematics has an s that does not mean that mathematics is a plural of mathematic mathematic is no word so mathematics news riches arms these are the words which have which are singular in meaning they might look like a plural word but they are singular in meaning similarly the word news is not the plural of new new is a separate word news is a separate word they have different meanings now let's uh, you know discuss few nouns which have different meanings in the singular and the plural for example when you say advice as singular it means counsel but when you say advises it means information for example air it means atmosphere for example there are so many toxic elements in the air it means atmosphere but when you say airs it means affected manners which is the snobbish you know attitude we are completely unaffected by their airs um so you need not bother so in that case that word airs means snobbish attitude for example the word good is an adjective which means benefit goods means merchandise which is a noun compass means range and compasses is a noun which means an instrument for drawing circles respect is a verb which means regard respects could be a verb or or maybe could be another part of speech depend you know depending on the usage but it means compliments similarly iron is a metal irons is you know fetters physics is medicine physics is natural science it's a noun force is abstract noun which means strength forces means troops which is your noun now there's one more thing that you we need to remember is that abstract nouns have no plural because they're uncountable you you cannot see them you can only feel them so you cannot count them obviously when you can't see them you can't count them hope hate charity love kindness you can't count them you can only feel there are such words which appear in plural when they are used as you know countables like you know provocations which which means instances or cases of provocation now there are few substances which are uncountable but they are not used in you know plural for example copper is not for example the word is copper or tin or tin or iron or wood so that doesn't mean that the plural form would be coppers or irons or woods no the plural form of copper would be copper coins the plural form of iron would be fetters the plural form of woods would be forests similarly in the previous uh, you know example i will not write kindnesses the right way of writing is acts of kindness similarly we do not write provocations the the right way of writing is instances of provocation it is not uh, necessary as i told you that you put an s and it becomes a countable no it's it is not countable so we if you want to write you know express it in the countable uh, sorry so if you have to express it in a you know plural way you have to write in a different way like acts of kindness which means that there are multiple acts of kindness so i hope this was uh, useful and that's the end of our nouns so in the further lessons we'll be going through the other parts of speech so happy learning and uh, thank you for your time